Hiya, my name is Harlene. I acknowledge that Curtin is on Wajuk Noongar lands from the past, today, and in the future. It was extraordinary to see this beautiful campus for the first time, its sweeping grounds and its stunning facilities. To drive through the exchange development and see the scale and how near it is to completion was just amazing. Most vice chancellors would have had the opportunity to check out the campus a number of times before arriving for their first day at work. But the pandemic prevented me from visiting Curtin earlier. I can only say that my first impressions so far exceed anything that I'd ever imagined. I was deeply honored and moved to be welcomed earlier today on my first visit to the campus by Curtin's Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander staff. It's wonderful to at last be able to meet some of the members of staff in person. And I'm very much looking forward to meeting many, many more of you in the days and the weeks to come. I am sure that all Curtin staff share my understanding of the importance of university education. I was the very first person in my family to attend university. That experience changed my life and the lives of my children forever. My university education opened many doors for me, both professionally and personally. It's taken my life in unexpected but amazing directions. I grew up in the United States, but in 1992, I left my home country to pursue my academic career at the University of Otago in New Zealand. I began as a lecturer in the psychology department, and in 2011, I was fortunate enough to become the university's vice chancellor. I loved my years at Otago and I'm very proud of all that we achieved there, particularly enhancing the student experience, increasing our focus on diversity and inclusion, and ensuring that teaching and research were given equal weight in academic progression. Now, in a different university, in a different country, I'm looking forward to learning from all of you and to bringing my skills and experience to serve Curtin. I was drawn to Curtin because I knew of its reputation for deep innovation and a commitment to social justice, particularly for Australia's First Nations people. I know Curtin is proud of its roots as the WA Institute of Technology, and that Waite's bold and entrepreneurial spirit continues in the university today across its Australian and international campuses. In the words of this university's namesake, the former Prime Minister John Curtin, the great university should find its heroes in the present, its hope in the future. It should look ever forward, for its past should be but a preparation for greater days to be.